So there is a machine learning AI system called Deep Patient that was developed by Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. And what they did was they took 700,000 patient records, medical records, fed them in and let the machine churn away. And it's a type of machine learning called deep learning. It involves multiple passes through neural networks, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what the, comes out sorry, of it, what's the neural network? <laughs> is that a bad um, question? Um, a neural network is a set of data points that are connected to other data points okay. that have um, some correlation or relationship has been noticed in parsing through this data, um, some type of probabilistic relationship so that it, um, it, the system has noticed that if this particular factor uh, is at some particular level, there is a greater or lesser chance that some other factor, some other node is going to, to flip. Um, and in this, it is patterned after the brain's actual neural network, although there's a little, many questions about how close the similarity is, but at least as a metaphor, it seems to be pretty good. Um, the important thing about, the, the really important thing about neural networks, besides the results that they give, is that as with a uh, deep patient, um, it's, it's gone through thousands and thousands of different variables that are in these medical records, all sorts of, of different pieces of data that uh, the hospital has noted for these for patients over over the years. And it has noticed correlations. And this would be really neat if the correlations were one to one, that it noticed, I'm going to make this up entirely, I don't know anything about medicine. If it noticed that if your potassium level is high, then you are more likely to develop schizophrenia. And schizophrenia turns out to be really hard to predict. That would be very, that'd be really useful and really cool, but that's not the only thing that it does. Um, it notices that there is some pattern, like a neural pattern among 5,000 different variables that lead to some probability of 77% probability given your particular data that you are going to develop schizophrenia. And when you're, you ask your doctor and take it something you can do something about like uh, kidney disease or whatever. Um, when you ask your doctor about that, uh, the doctor says, look, it says there's a 77% chance you're going to develop kidney disease. And uh, so here's some things we can do about it. And you say, well, why? What's, why should, what are my, what, what's the causes? The doctor in some instances, because it's a neural network will, the best that she's going to be able to say is, uh, we don't know. We can't understand it. Um, there are too many variables, and it may be that there's no one particular giant variable that correlates cleanly, like potassium. It may be that it's a configuration of 5,000 5, different variables that leads to this, and the only way that a human could understand it is to walk through all of those connections. So if you know if this bit is turned, if this node is on, then there's a 77% chance that node B is going to be on. Mm -hmm. Now let's do this 5,000 times and for many, many thousands of connections. We simply cannot understand it, but we have evidence that it is in fact predictive. And this is, this is amazing because now there's a set of diseases we have not been able to predict for that we will be able to and thus take uh, corrective or preventative action for. But we do it at the expense of understanding. And the, so I'll, I'm sorry, I'm talking too long. I'll, say, I'll just get to what I think is for me the most interesting point, which is that this, in, its, in the machine's ability to hold thousands, tens of thousands of variables and to hold them in complex networks of connections, that may, we have reason to think that that is a more accurate representation of how the world works than the very simple human explanations that we give one another. So this is a really alien form of knowledge, but because the predictions in some cases actually are, you know, they work out, uh, we have reason to think that it's a more accurate type of knowledge.